Okay, so once again, so itutuloy po natin ang ating week 1 tungkol po sa ating factoring of polynomials. So this time naman po ay proceed po tayo sa how to solve a given problems, word problems involving factoring of polynomials. Okay? So, for example, so solving word problems involving factoring polynomials, example number one, the area of a square is numerically equal to its twice or equal to twice its perimeter, find the length of a side of the square. So, here's the solution. First thing to do, let us uh, sketch or sketch the square. And let S represent the length of each side. Then the area is represented by S square. Diba? Ang area ng square ay S square. And the perimeter by 4S. Which is the perimeter. So we are going to sum all the sides. So therefore, since same sides naman sila, same length of the sides. So that is 4S. Thus, we have now, sabi nga dito, the area of a square is numerically equal to its to twice its perimeter. So, S square, ito yung ating area, equal twice. Ibig sabihin, 2 times the perimeter. So, 4S. So, therefore, we have S square is equal to 8S. Ano? 8S na to. 2 times 4S is 8S. And then, atin po siyang ililipat sa kabila. Transposition method. So, if we have, uh, if we transpose it to the other side, it will become negative 8s. So, therefore, we have now, s square minus 8s is equal to 0. Kasi since itranspose natin dyan, dito sa equation natin, so meron na tayo ditong 0. 0 na po yun. Ano ha? So, therefore, we have now, so ipapaktor po natin itong S, factored out. So, we have S is equal to, or S times the quantity of S minus 8. Factoring tayo, di ba? So, factored out natin. So, we have S, then S squared divided by S, we have S. Negative 8S divided by S, we have negative 8. Okay? So, therefore, we have now, para ito yung uh, nilalabasan natin ay quadratic equation. Yan ang quadratic equation. Ano? So, therefore, S is equal to 0. Then, the other is S minus 8 equal to 0. So, nagkadalawa na yung ating uh, equation. Ano? Kasi dalawa na yung roots na tinatawag natin or the solution set. So, we have now S is equal to 0 or... S is equal to, the transpose ulit natin sa kabila, negative 8, it will become to the other side, positive 8. So, S is equal to 8. Ano? So, because 0 is not reasonable answer to the problem, thus the solution is 8. 8 po yung ating magiging sagot. Okay? Next. The next uh, problem is uh, all about the age problem. So, this is an example of age problem. The sum of the ages of father and son is 39. Pag daw pinagsama natin yung uh, ages ng father at saka yung kanyang anak, ama at anak, ay 39 daw. If the father is 3 less than the square of son's age, how old are they? So, the solution, so let x is equal to the son's age. And therefore, x square minus 3 is the father's age. Kasi, na, uh, according to this, if the father, father daw ha, is 3 less than the square of the son's age, sabi natin na son's age ay x. So, square of son's age, so we have now x square. 
is ay ito yung narito ay 3 less than. So, therefore, we have x squared minus 3. Laro tayo doon. Na. So, translating uh, algebra expression lang yan. So, therefore, we have now the equation as x square minus 3 plus x is equal to 39. Bakit naging ganito? Kasi do, sa unang statement, the sum of the ages of the father and son is 39. Ano? 39 down. The sum of the father and son is 39. Ano yung sa, ano yung sa father? x square minus 3. Ano yung sa son? x ang sa son's age. So, therefore, ito yung ating equation. Laro tayo doon. Now, solve x square plus, sa solving na natin, so, kapag, bakit siya naging negative 42? Transposition, di ba, magiging siyang negative 39. Ano? So, once again, sulat po natin. So, we have x square plus x minus 42. Sa nanggaling yan? Yan ay nanggaling sa x square minus 3 plus x equals 39. Kasi we have x square minus 3 minus 39 plus x is equal to 0. Ganun po ang mangyayari kasi nga. Ano? So, once again, so we have, uh, di, di ba ito yung nalabasan kasi yung negative 39, uh, positive 39 in this side, uh, kapag dinala natin sa kabilang side, magiging na siya negative 39. Ano natira dito? Zero na lamang, di ba? So we have x square, copy, bring down, then negative 3, susulat lang natin. Sa so, galing ang negative 39, yon positive 39. Inilipat sa kabilang side ng equation. Then, copy the pas, uh, positive x or plus x. Okay? So, continue. We have now x square plus x minus 42 equals 0. So, factoring trinomials. So, it, using the trial and error method, we have x plus 7 times x minus 6 is equal to 6. Okay? So, bakit nga ba ganun? Kasi, yung ating x plus 7 and x minus 6, di ba, if we use the FOIL method, so, using the, uh, use, uh, using the FOIL method, getting the Getting the product of the first term, we have x squared. The outer term, we have x and negative 6x. Diba? Negative 6x. So, yun ay magiging negative 6x. And then, the inner term, 7x. So, kapag pinagsama natin yung positive 7x at negative x, so, so yun ay nagiging positive x. And 7 times negative 6, negative 42. And then, that is equal to 0. Diba? So, therefore, x plus 7 x plus 7 equals 0. And then, we have the other, the other root as x minus 6 equals 0. So, therefore, we have x is equal to negative 7 and x is equal to positive 6. Okay? Transposition method lang yan. Ano? Using the properties of equality. Okay? So, therefore, ngayon, ano nga ba yung tamang sagot natin? Nangyayari dyan. So, therefore, the solution is 6 since there is no negative h. ba? Thus, negative 7 cannot be considered. So, therefore, the h of the sun is 6 and the father's uh, h is x square minus 3. So, we have... Uh, what we call this x mm -hmm. x square minus 3 is equal to 36 diba? 36 and then minus 3 so we have uh, 30 ok so 33 or 33 so 33 plus 6 equals to 39 laro tayo doon 
So once again ha, balikan natin. Sabi natin, ang father's h ay x square minus 3. So therefore, magiging siyang 30, uh, 39. Ano? Kasi plus 6 pa yung sa anak. So therefore, 39. Okay? So yun lang po. So, once again, ang ating learning task 3. So, yun ay uh, uh, makikita nyo sa ating Google Forms. So, yung, uh, ito yung given. The square of a number equals 9 times that number. Find the number. The number 2, suppose that 4 times the square of a number equals 20 times that number. What is the number? Then, twice the square of the sum of a number and 3 is 98. Find the number. So, number problems yan. Ano? Then, number uh, learning task 4. So, may factoring completely tayo dyan. And, uh, factoring uh, uh, solving problems. Then, for learning task 5. Uh, so, ano din siya. For the problems. Doon din yung makikita sa ating Google Classroom. At siya ay ginamitan natin ng Google Works. Okay? So, that is for our reflection. Gagamit tayo ng flip grid. Okay? So, thank you and uh, mabuhay. So, once again, maraming salamat. Mag-aaral ng mabuti. Okay?